Hello again, Dr. Clock with more Mega Man 3 revamps by uh, Skipper and Kuja Killer. Time to go to Doc Gemini's stage, where we should have Doc Bubble and Doc Flash to deal with. Far, pretty similar opening. Oh, I think there are more bugs around than there usually are. There's also more planted in the background, but that's to be expected already. Um, oof. Oh, jeez. I thought I was dead there. Barely made it. There. Into the abyss we go. It's not much of an abyss, really. Um... Not, not, not actually expecting that to yield anything of interest, so uh, when it actually did, I got caught off guard. There. Right. Oh, I have some bubble destruction to do. Require me to get on my dog and do it. Yeah. Oof. Rush is very magnetic in this game. Useful in some ways, to be sure, but, uh,. It's, it's this it's a little bit weirdly disconcerting when he just like snaps to you like that. Alright. They wanna make it really difficult for me to just blast all those bubbles at will. Fortunately, I am very persistent and stubborn, and I can get the results that I want without as much trouble as some people might have. All the bubbles completely destroyed. Ooh, there's more here, though. my jump. Alright, Rush. You've been helpful so far in helping me pop all these bubbles. I need you to keep that up for me. Especially because I can't actually stand on the top of the screen there. Nah, that was meant to go dog food, but yeah. The next one does. There we go. One hundred percent clear. That felt a lot less uh, constricted than. Uh, the original did. Uh, that's right. Wait. We're not on water, so can this actually be Doc Bubble? Nope. This one was not flipped around. I guess probably because we're not underwater. Uh, Alright. Oh, wait. You're not. 
to that. What are you supposed to do again? Oh, Gemini laser. Ah. I don't know how to dodge the flash. Interesting, we're going up here. Definitely did not go up in the uh, original of this. Rush! I need your help as a submarine this time. Thank you, dog. You've been very helpful. Oh, hey, E tank. And a meat gate. You know how to beat the meat gate? The punch! This is a little bit more interesting than the original layout. A little bit easier to navigate, too, actually. This room seems pretty much like it used to. Well, except I get hijacked by ladders. <coughs> All right. Bubble Man was the one that was weak to Shadow Blade. Or Doc Bubble, I should say. And it just kind of uh, primes me to not bother trying to dodge at all and just face tanking everything until I win. Alright, well, let's go to the Doc Spark stage and see if that requires any more strategy. Yep, ooh! Okay, well, this is the Path of Bonus. I'm always happy to get the Path of Bonus. And it doesn't look like we have any uh, ladder crawlers on this one. We do have plenty of one-tile conveyors, though. Which, uh, we all know how big a fan of those I am. Ah, uh, but those are in the original, too. Okay, so we either have Doc Quick or Doc Metal here. Which one is it? It's Doc Metal. Alright, I'm pretty sure it was Magnus. Yes. And that works quite well. Down we go to ooh, nice. Oh, I can't. It's hard to tell what is solid and what is not solid here. Need to get out of this junky area. That, that's I was running into something there. Yeah, those blocks really blend in. 
You're looking very closely, you can tell, but... Oh, okay, I was a little bit worried there. That went, like, super well. And it's time to throw snakes at Doc Quick. Throwing snakes to Doc Quick is not working out all that well. But I think he does less damage than he used to, so uh, that kind of helped offset that. <coughs> Those jumps were not nearly as wild as they were in the original, too, so... I have a feeling that that AI got tweaked a little bit. Not a bad thing. Anyway, that's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.